So, is this the end of Elementor as we know it? Nope. But it is the start of something very different. Editor version 4 is rolling out, and it's going to change the way we build websites. But don't panic. In this video, I'll give you a clear look at what's changing, what's confusing, and what to do right now. First things first, don't install it on your active website. I know, it's tempting, but it's not ready yet. So, who is Editor 4 for? Is this for beginners? Not yet, but it will be. Elementor is clearly moving toward a more modern, professional builder, and if you build sites for clients or your own business, this will matter to you. So, what's actually changing? The interface still looks like Elementor, but it's sharper, more focused, and a little more grown up. Sections and columns are long gone, containers came next, and now it's Flexbox. That's the new layout widget. There's also a new div block, a minimal container with no layout styling, perfect when you do everything yourself. Atomic components break everything down into smaller, reusable parts. More on that soon. And styling finally works like it should, with variables, classes, and states. And just to be clear, Editor version 4 is still in alpha, so you don't have to switch today. But it's coming, and we get to test it early. So, how to activate Editor 4? If you're on Elementor Pro, head to Settings and click on the Editor version 4 tab. Here again, remember to not install it on a real project. I made a new WordPress installation. Then click on this button. Toggle it on, tap Activate, and that's it. We can now try out the new editor. At first glance, Editor version 4 looks pretty much the same which is actually a good thing. You don't have to relearn everything from scratch. The widgets are still on the left side. The editor top bar is still there. It still feels like Elementor. So let's have a closer look on what's actually new so far. The style tab now holds layout controls. Yeah, it moved. You'll now manage spacing, alignment, even flex direction, all under style, not layout. But the real game changer, classes. You can now assign reusable styles to widgets, like CSS classes, but for normal humans. Think of it as global styles, but actually useful. Now, the next big change. Before, you styled everything manually. Now, you build style libraries and reuse everything. It's like working in Figma or Webflow, but with Elementor's ease. Want to change just the color on one headline? Create a second class. Want to update spacing site-wide? Update the class once. After that, just one click, boom, done. Okay, and here's the part I'm most excited about. Real, responsive design. Finally. Because let's be honest, you build something that looks amazing on desktop, then switch to mobile. And it's just one long, sad column of stacked components. But that's exactly where Editor version 4 changes the game. This is the future of how we build. That's also the focus of my upcoming mini-course. How to build responsive websites with Elementor without losing your mind. Want to be the first to hear about it? Join the waitlist. Link to the waitlists in the description and the first pinned comment. So, should you build with Editor 4 now? My honest take? Not yet. Not on a live site. But, if you wait too long, you'll fall behind. This is like the move from sections to containers, only bigger. So watch along, learn, get familiar, and when it's time to switch, you'll be ready. If you remember nothing else from this video, just remember this. Here's what to do, and what to seriously avoid. Always test Editor 4 on a staging site, not on your actual website. Things are still changing and you don't want your real project to break. Take time to understand Atomic Components. They're central to the new system. Ignoring these changes means you'll be lost when version 4 becomes the new normal. Start building with classes and variables. It's the future of styling in Elementor. The old way of manually styling every element? That's over. Begin planning how you'll structure new projects with Editor 4. If you wait too long, catching up will feel overwhelming. And finally, I'll guide you through every step. So get on the waitlist for the upcoming course. No need to panic, we'll move smart, not fast. So, what do you think? Are you excited to build with Editor 4? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I answer to everyone. And if you want more videos like this, hit that follow button.